Hey guys, me 33 here from Not So Daily Gaming. Uh, we're back with another video uh, in flight gear. I'm currently flying the Cessna uh, C172P, pretty nice airplane. Uh, here, let me get this out of the way. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how to land. It's a pretty actually simple process uh, if you wanna. Uh, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna show you basically all there is to know. So currently, I'm just on a random airport. Uh, pretty nice, pretty long runway. It'll be long enough for what we need to do. It doesn't need to be that long. Uh, so in a Cessna, if we come back over here, uh, let's say we want to land properly, right? So to practice your landing, make sure you have your airport and runway selected up here. Have your distance is about four nautical miles, uh, altitude of about two thousand feet and an airspeed depending on your aircraft, whatever the normal cruise speed is. And actually, in my instance, I'm going to set this back down to about 90. You want to be on the lower end of your airspeed uh, because you want to be at stalling speed when you land so you can uh, safely safely taxi away. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this. So I'm just going to click OK, and it's going to load for me. I'm going to immediately hit pause here for a second uh, because it's still, let's see. So I can control it, right, but I, like, so that's kind of a problem. So I'm gonna hit auto start. Okay, I unpause here so you notice everything started. So I have just want to make sure I have the engine started, right? So we're aiming for that kind of grayish runway. So we want to keep it, just kind of keep the plane. Okay. So now I'm just gonna kind of cheat a little bit. Use the HUD uh, to kind of make sure my throttle is where it should be. You want to basically have it at basically minimum, but be prepared to have it go up higher. And little movements. You just kind of want to keep it. Uh, keep your airplane very gently, uh, not too sloped. You want to keep your airspeed uh, low as well. Uh, I probably could put out the flaps here. I'll do that. And then also want to think about uh, landing gear if your plane has that. Uh, make sure your throttle's down. I should, like right now, my hand is not touching my mouse at all. Uh, and that's kind of what you want to do. Also, you want to think about, uh, so just keep on the runway. Uh, some runways will have on the left um, of the runway a set of four lights, uh, and those will either be red or white. Uh, if you want to basically have it so it's two red and two white lights, so it's half red, half white. Uh, and that tells you that you're right on glide slope or how far you should be downwards in relation to the runway. And right now I'm a little bit low on the glide slope, and you can kind of just tell that of if you were to continue your glide path where would you keep going so I'm gonna increase my throttle just a little bit uh, just to make sure it doesn't need to be a lot right uh, and then you wanna make sure you're just kinda headed right for the runway which I'm doing a pretty good job of I recommend not doing this on multiplayer or um, with AI traffic just cause they kinda get in the way and so uh, and uh, take it practice it a lot this is like my I don't know like hundredth time doing this you know it's uh, maybe even two hundredth right it takes a lot of practice uh, to properly land um, an airplane and you'll see I'm still a little bit left of the runway so I'm gonna kinda tilt towards that way and you see I'm now kinda going towards that way just make very subtle and gentle adjustments you kinda wanna end those big two big uh, white marks on the runway there that's kind of where you want to aim to put your wheels down, uh, basically, uh, so that way you have time to stay on the runway sort of thing. So I'm still gliding. I'm at about 60 knots right now, which is basically perfect. Uh, I could probably cut with that. Uh, just make sure that you're on the runway. Keep coming down. Um, it's Nothing is going to hurt you, really, if you have to try again. Uh, it's a simulator, obviously. So don't worry too much about your like your first time I completely crashed my second time I completely crashed by the tenth time I was doing okay it took a lot of work and practice but I could still I could do it uh, obviously so now you're noting noticing that I'm like coming down perfectly look at that okay okay get the nose down and all of a sudden you noticed you should notice there that I am at stall speed and I am now throttling back as much as I can just so that way I do that and then at about 40 knots it kind of depends on your aircraft kind of slowly start applying brakes doesn't need to be a lot but you'll notice I'm successfully staying I'm using my rudder to stay on the runway that's your zero and enter if using the number pad 
uh, to stay on the runway and then I'm just kind of slowly applying brakes. Don't do it too much because then you'll have an aircraft that flips over and over at end. But that's basically all there is to it. Um, pretty simple. And we're going to go ahead and take a look now. Let's go ahead and take off here. Let's kind of throttle up here. Pretty loud, but that's okay. Uh, you guys actually can hear that. Let me turn that down. There. Okay. So that should be better. You guys can actually you don't have to worry about that as much. Oops. Ah. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look. If we head over here, um, we can see those red lights up there. Let's go take a look at those, and I'll show you what they do. Uh, it's actually pretty simple, but it's important to get a mechanic. So I actually, let me keep explaining that while I'm heading over there. So if you have uh, white lights, means you're high, white sky, right? Uh, red means you're low, uh, which means that you should probably pull up a little bit. So uh, like if you have one white and uh, three red, that means you're low, uh, pretty low. If you have all red, that means you're super low, or in this case, just too far away for it to, to care. Um, if you see all white, you're pretty, like super high. You should basically dive while keeping a fair uh, thing. Let's kind of head, okay. Um, and then, yeah, so th there's a couple things you need to think about there. So let's go ahead and climb a little bit and throttle down because I don't need to have this much throttle. Okay, so those red lights right over here. Keep an eye on. I have to. There, right there. So see those lights. If we go ahead, we're going to get, as we get closer to the runway, it'll eventually get more dialed in. Uh, to us, but basically what you want to do is, so see how one of them just turned white there? So keep an eye on that. I'm going to start heading towards the runway, meaning that we're, we're still pretty low, but we're getting better, right? So now if we kind of head towards the runway, now we're like perfect glide slope. So we should, a glide slope meaning like angle, basically, towards the runway. So now we should try to keep it that, right? But now if I go too low, actually let's go too high. We'll go too high for a sec here. I'm going to dive up really quick here. You notice we're all white now. So now if we come down, just keep your eye on those lights. I don't know why it's jittering like this, but yeah, so you notice one of them turned red. And then we should be, like, if we come here, there we go. So we want to stay on that glide slope. I'm not going to land on this runway. Oh, we're too, a little bit too low. So kind of adjust your little bit. And remember, because you're always moving forward, it'll eventually, because it basically creates like a angle towards the runway so now we're still a little bit too low just keep on coming up but you always want to be descending basically unless you're like super high i mean super low sorry like if i'm if i'm this height when i'm like three miles out you probably want to be a little bit higher and then of course it's all white now because i'm a little bit too low so that's basically all there is to know about um how to how to land in flight gear i hope you guys enjoyed uh and you should expect more flight gear videos from me uh very soon so uh, thank you all very much for watching. I am emh 33 and I will catch you all. Wait, let me, let's land this properly. No. Wait, let's, you know what, I'm going to, ah, screw it, I'm going to do this. All right, here we go. This is my attempt at a flip. Cut us out. Here we go. Oh, maybe I'm a little bit too low speed. Just a little bit. Avoid the tower. No, don't go that way. No, no, no. Okay. You know what? With that, we will end the video. I don't think I can do any better. Um, um, so, yeah. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, and uh, hope you guys subscribe. Be sure to like this video. And then comment if you have any questions. Um... A little update for if you guys are interested in like ATCing or basically air traffic control for the uh, flight gear. Um, the flight gear ATC like map server is down for some reason, so they're working on fixing that. But until then, uh, we can't do anything about it. But uh, yeah, so that's all. Thank you guys all very much for watching again, as I said. Uh, and yeah, bye.